This call is now being recorded. Hello, everyone. This is Black Girl Soul. We are doing a raw, uncut phone conversation between Sun Ray and I. <laughs> and we're talking about a dude who she thinks is appropriate in Black culture, and I'm not so sure. So take it away, Sun Ray. So I'm scrolling over on Instagram, and I happen to run across SBS's post today. For the guy, the character was Logan Lee. This is supposed to be his quote-unquote twin who has come to Korea. And this twin is just looking real questionable to me. Questionable enough that I stopped to take a picture of every single one of the po- one of the pictures they posted for said post because I'm trying to understand, mm, what's the context for this? What are y'all doing? So I agree. We, we've talked before about this when we dealt with Black Street Rookie, and so I'm going to share a few things first before we continue talking. Um, we had already kind of started, so we decided, oh, we need to record this. This is gold. This is good. We want to make sure we share. Um, but before we begin in depth, I also have been sharing out with our Instagram and our Twitter families that we are participating in Live Together, hashtag Live Together, hashtag United Against Racism, which is a united, I mean, a global united front against racism throughout the world. And so other countries are participating, such as uh, I know France has participated, their prime minister. You've got the um, president for South Korea. South Korea is participating, and that's how I found it, through the actors of this drama penthouse. One of them that I happen to actually really, really like and love, and so I follow him a lot, and what he does is uh, Kim Young Day. And so I saw his post, and I clicked on the link, and when I clicked on the link, I saw, oh, oh okay, a lot of the actors from his drama are participating in this United Live, or this, uh, Live Together campaign. Again, the global fight against racism. Great. So that was first. Then from there, When I went to go dig and I saw this and I started reading comments, and what I'm seeing is a lot of laughter, which is another portion of this to me that says something's not correct because why is Mm. laughter what we're getting when this is what's been presented to you? When you're laughing, it's because, eh, this is just, you know, my take. So then also my last step was once I went in there and I started talking to people, I also find, uh uh-oh, SBS is the same company that produced the show Black Street Rookie, which we spoke about last year. I think it was last year. Not 100% sure. Yeah, it had to be last year. We spoke about Black Street Rookie last year. And so that questionable character who, again, was he had on dark colored uh, right. makeup. He also had his dreadlocks, and he was doing things that were just kind of inappropriate. For this, again, I've not seen this. Seen. I've not seen where they're using this said character. His name is uh, Alex Lee. He's Logan's brother, so Alex Lee. Um, again, his quote unquote twin. So, and they're both from America. They were raised, you know, born in South Korea, I think, and raised in America because they were adopted. <clears throat> but in which case, I'm I'm just looking at the pictures, looking at what I'm seeing context wise. I'm not feeling this at all. Just personal. But go ahead. Something else, tell us your take. Okay, so it's it's not that I it's it's that I moved into those spaces of being like straight up insulted and pissed off. Like I try to move into those spaces carefully because um not because I'm I'm worried about the angry black woman, you know, stereotype. I don't give a damn. I am angry. Damn it. Ugh. It's that oh <laughs> it's that I just I there's so much emotional energy, and sometimes it's, it's all you have in reserve to just deal with American racism. So I'm like, okay, let me look at this. So if he were not wearing the clothes he, he was wearing even, and he just had locks, I'd just be like, okay, another person with locks. Like, you know, I don't think locks in and of itself is – you know, I think it's popularized by Rastafarians and by black folks, but I don't think it's like the do or die, like, oh, how dare he. Um, even the animal print, I'm like, okay, I've seen where they try to make animal prints African and it's selling something, right? And I understand that he's, you know, tatted up and he has jewelry on and stuff. And that to me speaks to rap culture. Um, maybe a little bit more than just plain out black culture because 
I don't see like black men on the regular walking around with 500. Like, they just don't rock like that, like in real life. Uh, so when I look at him, is he over the top? Yes. Are they trying to make make him countercultural in some way? Yes. But I don't necessarily know if he's supposed to be representing black. You know what I'm saying? Like there's a difference. Someone who looks countercultural and doing all this stuff. Now, and that's why I said I think you know, in my second second comment, he's got a gold in his mouth. Oh God. Hmm? Go ahead. Sorry. I'm looking at another. I told you I sent you a few pictures, all of them that they had. He has a grill in his mouth as well. Right. And so to me, it's like, um, is that, okay, that grill, that's like super up at the top too. But, <laughs> but what I was saying, <laughs> but what I was saying was before the grill was that, you know, I don't necessarily, I, I need to see how he moves and how he speaks to understand if he's trying to, like, do some kind of, like, racist caricature. Because I also think that there's this place where he may be, like, I don't I don't think that rap is automatically synonymous with black. I think well, that yeah. rap music came from black culture, but there's yeah. so many elements to rapness that are not black. You know what I'm saying? Like, so I'm like, maybe he's representing rap. But he's not rap culture in some way. Uh, I don't even want to say hip hop culture. Like I don't even want to give him that because hip hop culture is more than rap. I'm, I'm, I'm specifically talking about almost like commercialized, <laughs> commercialized rap. I want to say, okay, maybe he's representing that because he reminds me of that Tech Nine kid. Oh yes, mm-hmm. Sun Ray rightly said people have accused him of appropriation. It is super real. But he's also like super clown to me. Like he doesn't represent black to me. He represents some kind of clown rap world. And so that's what this guy makes me think of. He makes me think of, you know, just it, it's definitely a costume, right? <laughs> and so, I don't know if it's again, a black costume. I have never watched season three. Don't know what's going on with that. I have watched portions of season two and I watched season one in its in its entirety. From me watching season one in its entirety, the portions of season two, because I didn't finish it, and none of season three. I'm also going to just go ahead, which is why I said I was sending you all the pictures, because I want us to not just take that one that I posted on Twitter as our, and I didn't post, but I repost it, but as our parameters, because I'm digging even deeper, because there's layers to this shit. Um, I looked in the background there, one of the people walking behind him. I'm not sure if that's his bodyguard, a bodyguard. Oh, no, again, haven't seen this scene, don't know. The black man in one of these pictures with the cornrows going back. Then if you look on another one, you've got another black man with a box, haircut, a fade, box fade, off to the side. Um, I don't recall seeing black people in the show prior to this. Now, oh. if they existed, I would love for someone to call me out and tell me this. But prior to me seeing these pictures, I hadn't seen black people in the show. So again, right. like I said, I'm my my angst and my yeah, FBS, you're gonna get this finger work because I'm trying to go text me a real hot email in a few minutes. I'm agitated because what the fuck is wrong with you all that you keep thinking it's okay when people have told you it's not and you keep presenting these types of things. Yes, I'm aware there's probably different uh, directors. I don't know because, again, I didn't do that much research. I literally just saw these at – it's in my world right now. It is 1144. I saw them at 1110, so I have not had a chance to do all of my – due diligence, dig, research, and, you know, see stuff. But what I do want to say and what I'm wondering is both of these productions, Black Backstreet Rookie and this, came from SBS. And so, yes, I know there's probably different directors, different writers, but I'm kind of trying to understand. And now it's a thing to me. This is a thing because this is the same type of material coming from the same production company. So what the hell is going on? Well, no, I mean, I agree with you. I think that someone is – Someone is approving this stuff before it goes out. And this is what I'm going to say, and I'm I'll, I'll pulling out my ear, out of my ass, whatever. But I also might wonder if they did it on purpose because Backstreet Rookie, for all the bad press, it got a lot of attention. Where yeah. It would have just been your standard old pedophilic drama. <laughs> 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 it, 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 it 
has it had an extra accent of racism and that got it attention. You know, it would have faded into the woodwork for all intents and purposes. I, I, I didn't get anything from the story that was just like, you know, like if she had been of age or he had been younger, it would have been forgettable. So I wonder if they did this on purpose. But, yeah, I, I always talk about the strength of, you know, how various images are used to sell, you know, danger and countercultural. Like in the 80s, I think before hip hop maybe, or before hip hop was um, popularized across the world and it was just more than like something that blacks and Latinos listen to and engage in, um, he would have looked like a rocker. They would have, if they were putting out the same thing and they needed to have an edgy look, the edgy look would have been somebody with long hair who had on makeup. He would have looked like one of those white rocker folks. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I'm like, is it really blackness? I mean, or maybe it is blackness, but it's blackness used to titillate, uh, or titillate and also to kind of add that danger factor. So I don't know. I don't know. Because why did you stop watching Penthouse 2? Did it get boring or something? It was really just too much work going on. I couldn't concentrate. So I planned on picking it back up this summer. But oh. now I'm going, oh, shit, I don't know. I'm like, I'm saying I'm going to go try to find. I'm not sure if this production has come out today or if it is they're giving you the pre-work to get ready for what's coming because I don't know when it airs or none of that. I haven't been watching. I've been on another kick. Um, I'm trying to catch but the up. Because it even has pictures head. out. Yeah, I mean, here's the thing. No, the no, no. So it even has pictures out. Hmm? Go ahead. I was saying what? the fact that they even have pictures out of this particular image, him in particular, this is them like using using it. Think about yeah. it. If he was just coming out looking like new, you know, new guy in town, and he looked regular, is that worth taking a picture of? No. They know what they're doing. Yeah. They know what they're doing. This this not on accident. It's not them being confused. It's them using black imagery, maybe not even black, maybe rap imagery, whatever, to make him look dangerous. You know, like the grills put it over the top for me. I I, I know y'all would think that the animal print would be the thing they put it over for me, but like, you know, they wanted him to be outland outlandish, you know, and, and we have, unfortunately, um, and I'm not putting all the blame on, like, black folks or, or, or yeah. hip-hop or, or rap culture, but, you know, there's an image that uh, American society sells, let's put it that way, and some people are more complicit than others in selling that image. Yeah. Um. And then it turns into something that is horribly um, manipulated by other races of people. And I'm not saying it to say that they have, they get a pass. I'm just saying they don't use, they don't, they're using a hammer instead of <laughs> a scalpel, <laughs> you know, <laughs> in America. Because, I mean, what was gangster music? But let's take disenfranchised kids. And make them as dangerous and countercultural as possible, right? So the, that's what the Koreans are doing. They're they're finding the most countercultural image they can find, and they're they're placing this character in that role so he can show up and disrupt. I hear you. I hear you. I hear you. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm not saying it because I'm, I'm not. <laughs> It, I'm not invalidating what you're suggesting. I'm just no, saying I, I, I walk into it slowly. You you ready to go in and like tear down some walls and kick in some yes, doors? I'm like, yes. can you just put on your still 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 toe boots boots first? <laughs> can you? Can you? <laughs> you're trying to do it in bare feet. I'm just trying to suggest that maybe you should put on some boots first and and like you said, get more information before you go tear into these. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm, I cannot help myself. I'm trying, but this year has been there for many a year, so you know. Because y'all trust, I saw that first 
tweet from her. And I was like, oh, snap. <laughs> you called me right away. And you're like, well, it's over. These sons of my bitches. Why are they doing this again? I was like, oh, hold on, Sobre. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> I just need you to know I laughed because we were, I went over to some friend's house to hang out. And while we were hanging out, one of we got to talking about nicknames. One of my nicknames is Black. And so she was like, How did that you can only use that like some places and not others? Oh really? Huh? You can only use that nickname in some places and not others. I know, right? And so I was like, It's my brother, he calls me that because he says I was too pro black. So he's you were what? calling me black. Too pro black. Like I'm all about uplifting black people black stuff oh. like so he he used to call me black because he, and he would put his power fist up hey what's up black and i'm like okay you know what you're not funny because you know, he knew you because he knew you in high school i knew you in high school you were exactly super black in high school <laughs> i think so, we're yeah, saying you're I, about to join the nation or something <laughs> yes yes and that's why I'm laughing, because I was like, this spirit has been alive in me for quite some time. So, yes, I don't like it when I see it, when it pops back up or when I feel like, uh-oh, they trying to go there? Yeah, I'm ready to fight. <laughs> Listen, this chick, all she all she needs is the, uh, the fight the power soundtrack, and it's on and popping. <laughs> <laughs> it's like all she needs is some Trek D in the background going, go, sister, go. Go, sister, go. <laughs> Basically, for me, I think the sadder, the the thing that I really want to do is inquire because I'm also someone who's inquisitive while I'm over here with my black fist in the air ready to fight. But as as something else is saying, I need to go get my Tim's on first, my steel toes. Um, But (laughs) I would also like to know people's perspective. So trying to understand is also a place that I believe is where a lot of us go wrong is that we get in these spaces, we feel a certain thing, but we don't try to understand people. I would like to understand. So like I told you, like a bunch of the comments under the SBS post on Instagram were laughter. Why are we laughing? I'm trying to figure out what, I guess, is it funny because you just took it as a comic relief or like help me understand because I don't believe that anyone's intention is truly to be Melissa, you know, Mel- Maleficent? Malicious? Say that word. Huh? Malicious? No, it's it's another Maleficent. It's a F in the word. But I'll, I'll come back to that because I always screw this word up. But malicious works here. I don't think anyone's intention is ever to be truly malicious, but I do think it's inter- important and interesting to discuss and talk about why we have certain feelings towards images when they're presented. So why is my feeling immediately... Oh my gosh, why is your feeling, hmm, I wonder what they meant by that. Why is someone else's feeling laughter? Why is someone else's feeling, okay, look at them trying to be spicy. You know, like we, we all come from different places and different ideas. So like understanding where are people's perspectives on this. So listeners, we'd like to hear from you. I would love to know what are your thoughts on if you've watched the show, if you've been exposed to the show in any manner, even if you haven't, just upon seeing the images, what are your thoughts? Okay. Well, we'll hear from them. Hopefully, fingers and toes cross, eyes too. This is how we really converse, you guys. Like, we yeah. try to clean it up just a little bit when we do our regular recording. But we're also going to start doing more phone conversations because this is how we talk. So this is how we really talk. Um, this is Black Girl Soul phone conversation. Have a good one. Bye.